This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Sorry about that. Um, so, okay, here we got uh, Meg Thee Stallion. She dropped this on Cobra. Now that's, that's how you rap, okay? It was good. It was good. Um, the beat was crazy. She redid an old Bun B sample with with some type of I don't know. It was just it was it was dope. It was it was dope. So make sure you go check that out. But on this song, she was talking about party. Why did they break up? Well, she says pulled up, caught him cheating, getting his D's in the same spot I'm sleeping. Now, why does everybody keep che che cheating on Meg the Stallion? That's what I want to know. Why does that keep happening? Because uh, I'm going to be honest, okay? S something's wrong. <laughs> uh, she's been having a lot of problems, right? She's got the, she had the Tory thing. She had that. She had her label. Uh, sometimes you got to say, and, and I do feel bad for Meg because she did lose her parents in 2019, right? She lost her mom. I don't know when she lost her father, but <clears throat> I do feel bad for her because... She's still in her 20s, right? Is, is Meg Thee Stallion still in her 20s? Meg Thee Stallion age. I mean, still any any age, but I'm just saying it's, it's but yeah. She lost her mom in her early 20s, right? So that was like four years ago, let's say, give or take, 24 years old. That's pretty young to be without your mom. I mean, I mean, and some people have it worse. They get even younger and it's like, it helps to have that support as you're building your own life, you know, and figuring life out. It just, it just, it's your mom. It's your dad, you know. I don't only have my father, so I, I, I just talk to my mom. But, um, you know, my dad's alive, but he's just not a real dad. You know, so it's like a robot. Hello, my name is, you know, it's like, uh, but my mom you know, she, she's helped me through so much, you know, and I couldn't imagine not having her, you know? So I understand, you know, I think that she's, I think that probably made her a different person, you know? And I think she's ruining some relationships she has um, by just living like, I can't describe it, but I've seen people who have lost people before and everything, and they're just like, nothing else matters but them. And um, I think she's in a weird place and she'll be there for a while. But uh, anyways, that's what happened with the party thing. I was always wondering what happened with that. Cause he, yo, he's a clown, bro. Party's a clown. If he cheated on her, I'm gonna say this is some clown. Cause like he went so hard for her. He was like, he, he spent money on a jet. Uh, he was buying her jewelry, matching pajamas. He, he did the most to get her, right? Did the most. Got her. All the stuff came out that she was sleeping with, like, Tori, the baby, this person, that person. Like, you know, those... After she lost her mother, she started... I think she was trying to, like... Trying to, like, quote the, the pain and was sleeping with a lot of people. Sometimes everyone handles loss and pain. You're trying to fill a void. And I think he, I don't think he could take all the rumors, but it doesn't mean you cheat, bro. <laughs> that's that's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know. Uh, hopefully, Ashanti and Nelly get married. I mean, come on, you know, it's like you guys are back together, I'm going hard again. Obviously, you know, you let what's that saying? You let something you love go, and it comes back. It's for life, you know. Just get married. Or like just be together, you know. Take uh, the DJ was it DJ Pat. He he is off house arrest now. I mean, what the hell? What, what what's going on here? Is Takeoff going to get any justice? They're they're claiming self defense of what? What happened? What happened? The, what, self defense against he can't be around Jay Prince Jr. and Shakir Stevenson, right? Jay Prince Jr. made the environment unsafe. He didn't stop it. He likes, he likes problems. This guy's sick, Jay Prince Jr., right? It's not like his father that regulates. He gets excited with the problem. 
platforms, you know? So when Quavo was having an issue and all that, they were getting excited. Instead of stepping in and be like, nah, 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 chill, 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 and quote, and, and, and stopping his dudes from coming at Quavo like that, he he, he just sat by. You, 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 that That's a weak weak uh whatever he is i don't you know he's like trying to sit in his daddy's shoes you know you're not your dad <laughs> your dad commanded and got respect you're not your dad you, you can go around and, and, and press people and they'll give you respect there because you're pressing them with a bunch of people but your dad had respect across the country the takashi thing what uh, wouldn't have happened to your dad back in the day you know your dad's obviously chilled on that but like back in just 10 years ago your dad had this respect that he built over decades um sierra said, said she went to the waffle house uh, and a little we a little wayne feature she should go getting both oh she wanted waffles and a little wayne feature as much as you see as you see little wayne and sierra like here russell wilson paid for this feature Little Wayne might not have charged directly, but it was it, they went through the proper channels and got Little Wayne. Russell Wilson is making Sierra's dreams come true. She wants to go on music again while she's having a baby. She can do it all. <laughs> she can do it all. Listen, man. She's in the red on music, okay? But you know, salute to Russell Wilson. You know, if you're married. And obviously she's loyal. You don't hear about her like doing anything weird. She she you know, this is the life he wants. He's having his babies with his wife and everything. Yeah, you know, if he's got the money to do it, make her dreams come true with the money. It doesn't matter if she makes money with the music, you know? That's what you make you know, he, that's why he's making hundreds of millions of dollars. He's making dreams come true for his loved ones, you know? Um, then we got, uh, Sam Bankman free. This is the guy from FTX. He's facing up to a hundred years. Got found guilty on all counts for defrauding customers as he should. It's DJ Envy times 1000. DJ Envy Caesar peanut times a thousand. DJ academics addresses Queen Latifah from the Saucy Santana thing. Now, I didn't read close enough. Queen Latifah actually reposted a MySon post when he said, it's crazy to me how DJ Academics crying, scared to say anything on Sassy Santana because he's a gay man, but, you know, goes off on women and this and this and this. MySon, stop. You are obsessed with academics. MySon is part of the BLM movement. They took billions of dollars. Make something happen with the money, man. I was hoping that a lot of that money would go into programs and stuff and, and help kids in areas where they, you know, they don't really put a lot of funding for schooling and stuff like that and have programs and make, give these areas focus somewhere and show that the change can be done with that money, you don't have to spread it even later. Like, focus, make a focus group and show the stats so that more companies will put money into that so that kids have a fighting chance coming out of these areas, you know, where they can get education on program, you know, there's tools that'll help them see beyond what's in front of them, you know? Like, if you come outside every day and you see someone getting quick money doing something, whatever it is, right? We've all had that temptation, even me, you know, of quick money, you know, and if you know better, you'll do better. That's all I could say, you know, so stop worrying about academics and what he's saying and focus on what, what are you? I don't even know what my son is anymore. Rapper, activist, internet troll. I'm confused, to be honest. And to be honest, let's address Saucy Santana trying to uh, threatening to bend academics over and take advantage of his behind. I mean, come on. That's 
blasphemous, okay? Why doesn't Sassy Santana get the same treatment as anybody else? If a guy said that, well, Sassy Santana or whatever, you know, it's like, you don't know what, I don't know what Sassy Santana identifies as because there's a beard, you know, it, it, no, no offense, you know, I think Sassy Santana is entertaining, but this was a little too much. Yeah, academics has been going at Carisha hard, but she goes back just as hard, you know? And he keeps, he does keep the same energy with guys. He just, if anything, he's even keeled about the whole situation. Jess Hilarious, of course, chimed in because they've had their beef and uh, Charlamagne even joined in and they were laughing about it. I don't blame him for being mad about that. I, I hope, I, I only listened to part of that. I hope he didn't go at Queen Latifah because that was bait. That was bait for him to get canceled, you know, because they know more people will focus on Queen Latifah. Keep the energy on my song. And he invited my son to his studio. <laughs> My son lives across the street. He lives right across the bridge. I mean, he does. He lives right in the Bronx, right? Westchester, wherever he lives. At. I, I, last time I seen him, he was in the Bronx. I don't think he lived far from me. I lived in Kings, right above Kingsbridge. Uh, Glorilla. Um, she dropped a song. Wasn't that great? I think she needs to take a break and recalibrate. I think the sexy red thing really got her off because the past two songs she's dropped have been not great. She fell out of her groove. You know what? With more money comes more responsibilities. That's all I can say about that. And I, I think it lo she lost her focus. She needs to delegate. So when I first saw this pick of Jada Chiefs out in Dubai, I was like, ooh, she got flown out by a prince. That's a common thing. But then I saw that little baby's performing there. So maybe she's with little baby. Most likely. <laughs> uh, anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Let me know what you think about the Meg the Stallion Cobra thing. I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. You know, say what you want about Meg the Stallion. I'm just judging the music here. I think it's great. I think the Cobra song's dope. It's Jordan Tao with JT News. Peace.